Hi, on this video, I will share with you on how I have set up basic authentication on my queue for Apache Active MQ. So um, basically, I have uh, installed my Apache Active MQ in this particular directory. When I meant uh, install, uh, I just downloaded the zip file from the Apache ActiveMQ site and uh, extracted it on this particular uh, directory of my computer. So um, I can start it by doing this from the bin directory. So when I start it, so my my application will be ready. The console will be ready on this particular port. So let me show you um, my particular console. Okay, so this is my my localhost implementation uh, uh, deployment of the active MQ. So now there is no queue over here. So to to put a value into my uh, a queue, I have a particular application running on Spring Boot. So what it does is it just uh, puts this uh, text into a queue called mailbox so my authentication is admin as user and uh, password is admin as well so let me run this to show you in my console okay right Okay, it's have finished executing. That means uh, the value has gone into my queue. All right, as you can see, there is one value have gone into my queue. Okay, now my purpose is to change my authentication details to something else. Um, something else on uh, Apache ActiveMQ. So let's uh, try that now. So what I do is uh, I go back to my console here. I stop my ActiveMQ. Yes, I stop it. Then what I do, uh, I have to navigate to the config directory. Okay, in the config directory, there are a few bunch of files. So I'll just open this one, All right? Over here, what I have to do is I am going to include this okay on this part of the file right okay now this will allow me the user with this particular password okay for further details on how to set it up we can check on this site security so basically, I'm following something similar to this one. Okay. So now I've uh, included my changes over here. I will start the Apache Active MQ again. All right. So it's starting now. All right. Started now. I will try to run the same application again without making any changes to my password or username let's see what it says okay now it fails uh, with the user name admin or password is invalid because we have changed it in this file okay so to make it work what I have to do is I need to uh, copy this password and put it here saved it now if I run this, it will work. Okay. Okay, as you can see, it uh, executed successfully. We'll check the queue again to make sure. Okay, as you can see, there is two values inside here. Alright, that's all. Thank you very much for watching.